Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you an amazing software for your asset management. So typically, if you're working on a large scale project, you will have thousands and thousands of 3D assets. You might even have like audio files, video files, images. So you have all of this stuff, right? And it's really difficult to keep track of all of these assets. And this is where you have to use a digital asset management tool. So Blueberry AI is a fantastic asset management tool. So you can go to their website. I'm going to leave all the links down in the description. And let's start by creating a folder here. You can choose the parent folder here. In the permissions, you can choose user or team. So typically you are going to work with the team, right? Now in this folder, we are going to upload our files. So I have some 3D files prepared for this demo. So I'm going to upload these files. So these are Blender files, Maya files and FPX files. And typically you will have like thousands of assets here. So we have like image files as well and we have video files as well, right? So this is typical of any 3D project. Now we're going to go to filters right here and you can see that this has a wide range of filters. So if you scroll down, you will be able to see all the 3D filters. So this has filters for all the major 3D file formats. So we're going to select Blender files. And this is going to give you all the Blender files in your project. And we're going to select this one. You can see the file information down there. And Blueberry AI also has an AI tagging system. So whatever you upload, it's basically going to process it. And it uses AI to like smartly tag your assets. So you can edit your tags as well. Now I'm going to double click on this file. This is a Blender file. And this is going to open up in the browser. Blueberry AI is powered by the Kiwi 3D engine and the Kiwi engine supports over 100 different 3D file formats. So it supports 3ds Max files, Maya files, Blender files, FBX, GLTF, you name it. I mean, it will support all the major industry standards. Okay, now let's go back and let me select this file. So this is a FBX model. And you have the material profiler here. You can see the normal metallic roughness and the wireframe. So basically all the PBR uh, properties, right? Next, you have the measurement tool. So you can measure your model's height. On the right hand side, you have some visualization options. So you can basically see the wireframe profile of this. This is pretty useful if you want to see the polygon density of the model. Next, you have double sided materials. You can show the grid if you want. And next we have the UV checker. Personally, I feel this is a very cool feature. This is going to give you a UV grid overlay. Here you can leave your comments for other team members In the tools you have some capture settings and here you have the option to create GIFs. Next we have materials. So here you can check each and every material property and these are all the PBR uh, material channels. So you can check all of these. So you can check the material ID here. This is the base color. This is the normal. And next in the meshes, you can see information about each mesh. So you can see how the UVs are laid out. Now let's take a look at some search options. So you can search for your assets right here and you can search by name. So I'm going to search for headphones and it's going to give me some headphone assets right here. We also have some advanced search options here. So we can search using images. So I have a headphone image right here and I'm going to use this. And you can see Blueberry is going to give me everything related to my image. We have 3D models. 
we have images this is a very powerful feature now let's go to the kanban view so i love this feature this is called the kanban view you can basically drag files based on their approval so whether they are approved whether they are like under review or pending for review so if you're working with a team this is going to be a very important thing for you and you can just drag and drop these models now let's go back and you can filter all the models that are approved so these models are ready for production and you can use them in the project you would typically want to share this file so you can right click and share and you have some sharing options here so you can share it with your team you can create a public link you can also tell if it's going to expire in 14 days or it's going to be persistent on the web you can also add a watermark if you're working on a classified project and you can share this with your team members and further work on the project and when it comes to pricing this is very affordable so the plan starts as low as $1 per month for casual users there's also an enterprise plan for bigger organizations and the best part is that blueberry offers a free trial and this is really simple to set up so this is the registration process so it is as easy as putting your email id and your password you can choose if you're using this for like enterprise purposes or personal purposes i'm going to choose personal you can type your description here you can verify your email and complete your registration so this is a fantastic project management tool i'll leave a link down in the description make sure that you check it out and yeah i hope you like this video if you did please leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more videos like this that's it guys i'm going to see you in the next video